Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Zelensky has a reality check, and that is he understands that he might be a Zelensky Stein, but there's a bigger Zelensky Stein in Israel who needs more help, which is that was activated uh, right now, and Ukraine falls on the fifth or sixth place. As I said, Israel first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, whatever, and then somewhere later down there, the top 50 comes Ukraine. Why? Because um, Ukraine did not produce results. The West is drained of uh, energy, and uh, unfortunately, winter is coming, the counteroffensive is dead, and Zelensky is angry, according to Ukrainians, with the Allies. The Allies are the sponsors. Some willing sponsors, some made. Ah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sponsor, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> I have two articles. One is from Ukrainska Pravda, and the other one is from Russia Today. Let's start with uh, Ukrainska Pravda. Where it's today, uh, the 30th of October 2023. Zelensky angry with Allies and no longer optimistic but continues to believe in Ukraine's victory, Time magazine. Now, that's one. Let's go to the other one, which is from uh, uh, Russia Today, the same time, the 30th of October 2023, the same date. Zelensky feels betrayed by West, Time magazine. The Ukrainian president said that the conflict has become like a show to the Western public. That's all what it is, Zelensky. That's all what it is. Good job. Uh, probably you knew this because you were the main actor in a movie, in a show. And now another clown took your spot. What do you want? Actors come and go. So the same with the clowns. They get older or some actor is better a little bit and then you're out. That means um, competition. And you right now are not uh, selling very well. The other one sells better. And the allegiance, uh, <clears throat> whatever. So he feels betrayed. He doesn't like when he's not number one anymore. Well, the problem is not this garbage. The problem is the Ukrainian nation that gets decimated by the Russians and the Russians also die for others. I don't like that a bit. A bit. This could have been avoided. Now, what happened? Let me show you uh, something that is very interesting. You see, this is the article from Russia Today. Obviously, these guys uh, make it in a certain way, but you got Ukrainska Pravda, my friends, is angry with allies. And I will not go deeper here. I'm just going to use uh, this right here. Uh, right here. I make it. Uh, I'm going to take myself out of this. So time, right? November, blah, blah, 2023. Time. And I'm quoting. Nobody believes in our victory like I do. Nobody. And this is Zelensky. Right? Right. The lonely fight of Volodymyr Zelensky. Yes, and now I'm going to make this differently. Imagine a football coach. Now it's called manager. You know, the guy who trains the team of 21 or whatever, 22 people. So let's say I hire a coach, Zelensky, and I put him in charge of a team, Ukraine. And this team, you know, I pay Zelensky, I pay the coach, and we set goals. You're going to win this, you're going to fight this, you're going to do this. And then the coach trains the team and he pushes. I'm going to give you money. I'm going to invest. I'm going to bring you football players, you know, transfer them. You need results to show me the results with the football players. Now, the team doesn't show results. Fails, 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 fails. Wins here, wins there, but fails overall is a failure. What do you do with the coach, with the manager? You fire him, but the coach tells you, nobody believes in me. Nobody believes in our team's victory. No, because you fucked up. What do you want me to do? Continue the same old same shit? Sorry. No, no, I'm not going to do this. So this garbage that this guy is trying to instill here, nobody believes in our victory like I do. Of course, of course nobody believes. And of course it's only you. It's only you because you're the manager. If, if these guys are saying no more money in the team, you lose your job. You're fired, Zelensky. So this little cry little thing here, nobody believes nobody, but I do. Of course you do. That's your job. Without that, what's going to happen to you? 
You're going to rest. You're going to be retiring, as I said, in London, Tel Aviv, or New York, and you'll be just fine. I know that. You'll be just fine. But the problem is, you know, power is like a drug. Once you uh, drink that little cup of power, you don't want to give it to anybody else after that. That's why it's very hard, you know, in democracies to pe with people to you know, say, okay, I got voted out of the office. And that's it, my, the will of the people, if that's fair. But what's fair? Whenever you make it fair, my friends, don't expect anybody else to be fair. Life is not fair. You know that. Uh, we make rules so other people can break them and uh, get ahead of ourselves and then say, well, you got the rules, the rules. Remember the rules? What about you, Gigi? <laughs> anyway, so here you have this guy who nobody believes by him. Of course, of course, nobody believes. And remember, it's Israel right now. You're done. You're in the 20th place. Unfortunately, maybe fortunate. Maybe this is a fortunate time <coughs> for Ukraine. Why? Because that means this guy's gonna say, okay, just 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 stop the war over there. We're busy here. We're gonna take care of this thing right here. Just probably that's what's gonna happen. This guy's gonna say, stop that. So that means no more Ukrainians and Russians will die. Our people, but we have these guys fighting now. And maybe Iran is gonna get in a, a mix of everything and everybody else over there. And it's interesting because in both you have the same common denominator, which is not Israel, not Russia, United States of America. Interesting. But hey, when you are the force of good, you always fight the evil, right? So that's why we find United States everywhere. This is the garbage these guys are going to come up with. Wherever you see garbage on this planet, I'm talking about wars, you're going to find Al Capone over there. Why? The force of good has to oppose the force of evil, whatever that face would look like. The Russian face, the uh, North Korean face, the Chinese face, the, I don't know, uh, the Serb face, the Iranian face, the whomever. Uh, we're going to come over there. You're going to see our face. Al Capone's face is going to come. Hoo, 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 hoo. Land. <laughs> my God. If you don't see through this, I don't know, my friend. Uh, don't go to school. Don't go to work. Don't drive a car. Anyway, stay home in the basement and... Order online and uh, pay your pay your taxes. Keep your mouth shut. Just consume. Be a happy consumer. And if you're not happy, we don't care. Just stay in the basement. Don't come out. And make everybody else stay in the basement with three pairs of masks and one on the pussy right here. Okay? Yes, I said it. So, because that's the way I feel. And even more than that. <laughs> so, my friends, nobody believes in our victory like I do. And he's angry with the, with the West. Too late. The show is over. You're out. Who's in? And right now, not even Netanyahu is in. Bibi needs to get out too. These guys wanted Bibi Netanyahu out for a long time. I don't know exactly what, where he fucked up. I'm not certain where he really screwed up. Because he got out, he was kicked out. And it was, what's his name, uh, Bennett, right? The, the other prime minister, he was in. Now, these guys, uh, Bibi won and they don't like Bibi. I don't know exactly what the hell he did. Because with his uh, so-called, uh, these guys are against the judicial reform or justice reform, justice, justice reform in, U in Ukraine, in uh, Israel. You see all those riots, uh, riots, uh, demonstrations and whatever they are, day after day after day after day, uh, organized, okay? Don't tell me these are just spontaneous. So there are groups that want these guys out. Even Biden did not want to meet uh, Bibi Netanyahu. Can you believe that? At the White House. Can you believe that? Nah. That means he did something wrong. And I don't think he did something wrong to the United States. I think he did something wrong among his group. I'm talking about Netanyahu. He screwed up somewhere. He, he did something that was against the group. And the group attacked him. And then all the buttons were pushed to everybody else. If you know what I mean, I have to speak like this. I can't just say it, you know, this babi boba. Because, you know, we live in a free world here. <laughs> With a free speech under the Constitution. <laughs> Man. Remember, what did he say over there? I like that one, uh, by the Russians. Yeah, right there. The conflict has become like a show. It was like this from the very beginning. Why do you think that Ursula, Ursula, Ursula von der Leyen comes over there and they all come, they all come to, to take pictures with you because you are like that bear in chains. And they, they, they feel the thrill that they are or, or this powerful person. In this case, you're just a freak. That's how they look at you, a freak. That's how I think. And they, oh my God, I feel the thrill of... Uh, he's not um, 
manly whatsoever. He's what, what, 4'3 or something. So they don't want to mm -mm -mm him. He doesn't look any, uh, you know, suave or tough or anything to inspire the wetness, if you know what I mean. So therefore, they don't get that kind of thrill. They, they, they get the danger thrill. Yes, I've been over there. They take pictures with Zelensky and then they put it in, a, in their houses and their uh, future generations, the family would, oh, um, she was over there doing the war. Fuck off. Anyway, that, that's how I see. So they look at this guy as a freak right there. So is this freak or not a freak? Doesn't really matter. If it's Zelensky or Michael or Tom or, I know, Yevgeny or... Not Prigozhin, but that, they don't care. They don't care. Even Prigozhin, I'm pretty sure, got a lot of uh, wetness. Well, anyway, whatever, my friends. I'm getting nasty here. But this is, this is, this, when these guys go over there and take pictures with him, they, and he thinks he's the best. It's just a show, my friends. Just a show. For a lot, uh, a lot of people. They, these guys, these guys, put the Ukrainian flag today and they took it off and now they put the Israeli flag. If tomorrow something happens, and I don't know, uh, Pakistan, they will put the Pakistani flag. They have no, and they, oh, we fight for this. There are people who change like chameleons. It, it's, it's a fad. It depends every, if, if the new fad that is instituted by the mass media and the blah, 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 it, these guys immediately take the co coat off, hang it, Take the next one and they support that one. They forget about that one. Forget about it. Garbage. They don't look back. That's why the mass media in America, nobody talks. Nobody. They don't talk about uh, what's going on in Iraq. Well, yeah, what happened with that freedom and democracy? Zip it. That's unimportant. We took that coat off a long time ago. We hung it. And after that, we went to uh, Afghanistan. We took that put them on, now we took it off, we went to the next one, and next to Libya, and after Libya, this and all that, and they, the coats are over there, they don't look back to see how the coats are doing, no, 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 the same with South Africa, yeah, great, 1994, 993, right, apartheid was gone, did you check lately to see what's going on over there, no, they are with the Russians, that's a, why, and okay, and not only that, there are many places where these guys and they support whatever the mass media tells them you should support right now. And tomorrow they scrape the little Ukrainian flag from their car and they put the Israeli. And then after Israeli, they're not going to scrape it. They're going to put a next to it. <laughs> that's a different, uh, you know, that's why Zelensky is on the 20th uh, place right now. And the first 19th is Israel. But what do I know? Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.